the United States is and will remain a Pacific power for years to come. Marine Wing Support Squadron 171 is built to deploy anywhere and at any time as they assist the warriors of Marine Aircraft Group 12 take to the skies. 171 will lead in transporting and fueling every piece of equipment. The training that we're accomplishing here in Tinian is a huge push to get air base ground defense done. Uh, that is something that we don't have a lot of opportunities to conduct in Iwakuni. Uh, that ability to be able to defend ourselves. Uh, it's one of our training and readiness standards that we need to be able to equip and train and provide security for all of our equipment and units out here. Uh, if we're co-located with the MAG, it's our responsibility to pull in augments from them and defend ourselves uh, no matter where we're at. The biggest advantage Tinian provides is the open space. Space cleared out by assistant engineers who paved the way to establish a local infrastructure out of an abandoned airfield that hasn't been used since World War II. Ten days ago, two-thirds of this site was nothing but trees and, and vegetation. About 70 years worth of growth and what was originally an apron for aircraft was just completely consumed. After using heavy machines to move the brush, it's clear U.S. forces can operate in any environment. Hopefully the Marines walk away from this knowing that they can go anywhere in the Pacific and take the fight to the enemy. Reporting from Tinian in the Northern Mariana Islands, I'm Corporal Anthony Reyes.